Hello guys and tonight Ukrainian drones have visited 16, 16 Russian regions targeting military objects and oil refineries there. And yes, Moscow oil refinery was on fire. What a beautiful message sent by 158 Ukrainian angry birds. Actually, this is the most massive drone attack of Ukraine on the Russian Federation and I'm sure more to come. All because the only way to stop this war is to defeat Russia. And if we continue fighting only on the Ukrainian side, this will simply lead to the destruction and exhaustion of my beautiful democratic country. But Russia wanted war and Russia got war. If we look back at this recent months, we can clearly see war has returned back home to Russia where it belongs, Kursk region under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces, buffering zone is shaping on their side, and drones visit more and more of Russian regions deep inside the Federation, sending one very important message to the population of Russia. People, you have to change something. So let me tell you more about this important updates from an ordinary Ukrainian perspective. My name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine. I'm very proud of my country and if you want to see Russia defeated, subscribe. I'm sure we will discuss this sometime very soon because the symptoms are definitely clear. If you have a look at the way the war changed since 2024, for example, we can clearly see that more and more combat actions, front lines are moving to the Russian Federation, which is something that seemed totally unbelievable when people hoped that uh, in Russia, I mean, people hope that Blitzkrieg will happen and Ukraine will fall. Now it seems like Russia will fall sooner and all because they are classical bullies not prepared to defend themselves. Honestly, after the collapse of his plan to attack and get Ukraine really quickly, Putin switched to a plan to exhaust Ukraine, to exhaust our partners and simply take land after we are over. But we are not that simple and Ukrainian strategy to target oil refineries, Ukrainian strategy to move into Kursk region and maybe some more regions in future and create there a buffering zone work really well. Honestly, I know that many people wanted Ukraine only to defend itself, which is totally crazy. Even with the best air defense systems, I don't know, Iron Dome and other things like that, this is a way to simply destroy our country, to exhaust our people, to ruin our ecology, and of course, mainly to demotivate us, because by letting Russia shell, bomb you with everything it wants, what can you achieve? And the only way to defeat Russia, to stop this war, is actually to fight back. And with our bravery, with our creativity, we demonstrate some really good results. I have read an article of one a foreign observer who actually says, and I agree with him, that if Ukraine was allowed to strike Russia back the way we want, we wouldn't need sanctions even, because we could achieve our military goals in a couple of months. This is very painful that we are not allowed to do so. That's why Ukraine invents its own ballistic missiles, its own rocket drone missiles, and its own strategy, for example, to take some settlements in Kursk region, create a buffering zone and an exchange potential for the future. Because once again, we always re uh, respect international agreements, borders, and all we want, Ukrainian borders, 1991. And as a result, Russian borders 1991, even though I don't mind if they collapse and many more beautiful republics appear, because actually Russia consists of 22 people's republic and Moscovia is just one of them. Once again, I will connect this video. We have it on the channel that explains more about the structure of the Russian Federation and why we should not be afraid of that in the video. 
Remember to subscribe to get more updates from Ukraine and learn more from our useful tactics how to defeat bullies. It can actually be helpful everywhere, at school, at work, because the only answer that bullies accept is strength, confidence, resilience, bravery, and you have to fight back. That's the rule that I've learned. And uh, all the plan of Russia, when they know they cannot get Ukrainian territory easily, when they know we are very strong and we are definitely a separate nation with separate culture, language, you know, they cannot absorb us, they cannot uh, assimilate us or annex us as they did with Belarus, they've decided to erase us from the face of the earth and turn Ukraine into this infrastructure uh, desert, as Vitaly Portniko, Ukrainian YouTuber says, an intellectual. But we can actually create a desert on the Russian side. It is a good way to do so. And targeting oil refineries, targeting their electro stations as they do with ours, destroying more of military airfields, more of military warehouses is a good way to um, show to the population of Russia that war is bad and to cause chaos inside Moscovia. That's the task because maybe something then can change in their minds and if they ever get an opportunity to go to elections, to change a different president, they will think twice. Or they won't mind against the coup, as it often happens in Russia. <clears throat> By the way, it's really interesting for me. Let me know in the comments below, how do you think what will happen to Putin after the defeat of Russia? Will it be something similar to Hitler? Or will we see him in The Hague? Or population of Russia will take care of him. I don't know. By the way, there were rumors that Lavrov is in hell already. Honestly, I'm not that optimistic. Bad people, they always survive. But, but worth mentioning on the channel. So perhaps the most important thing that happened today was this massive attack on 16, guys, 16 Russian regions. What a big geography lesson. Perhaps the biggest on the channel. Ukrainian armed forces are doing very good. Uh, unfortunately, 10 times at least Russia shelled the beautiful city of Kharkiv today. And they do not target military objects. They choose civilian residential areas trying to cause panic and um, to demotivate people believing we will give up. When actually they get just the country. And do you know what is the typical reaction of a Ukrainian person to the attack on his or her city? First of all, to support local businesses, to go out when it is safe already and buy a coffee, and then to donate money. And that's why uh, we have this proverb, new saying that you have to transform your hatred, your fury into donations, because this way it works better. And that's why we have big army of drones, many creative people. I'm once again very grateful for our NAFO campaign and I'm sure when the convoy will be in Ukraine with all these beautiful drones, we will have a separate video on that. But uh, these are actually the drones that visit 16 Russian regions. Beautiful. I love it. With one very good message, Russia stop. The moment they get out of Ukraine and of course give Putin to the court, we're done. And Putin was traveling to Mongolia. There were hilarious uh, videos of uh, his uh, Cortez. I don't know if you have like his cars traveling with helicopters. He's afraid of everything. And I am confident there are doubles of Putin. You know, typically I hated such ideas. I thought it's something like making up. It's not very realistic. But then when you look at the lives of dictators, it's just a tradition because they know people hate them and they are ready to be killed like every moment. That's why most of their life they spend in bunkers 
Japan, then there are doubles performed badly on different uh, places. Anyway, uh, this was also a week of more advances in Kursk region and unfortunately Russia bombed their own towns like the town of Suja, which is insane. The majority of people left it, but uh, many uh, stayed like 500 or something and the Ukrainian armed forces are actually the only ones who care about them, provide them with water, uh, help them uh, survive insane Russian shelling of their own territories because that's the only way Russia fights wars it's not about tactics it's not about creativity it's not about thinking it's just about killing as many people as possible doesn't matter Russian Ukrainian I don't know and also uh, it is about that destruction because even if they are taking any kind of territory uh, there is just a territory then nothing left that's what they were doing to Vovchansk, for example, dropping hundreds of cabs, guided bombs per week. And uh, this is what they do in Pokrovsk. Uh, it's a very tough situation for the Ukrainian soldiers, but more of the Russian soldiers are supposed to be taken away to Kursk to back up because they don't have enough people. They are actually hiring now from abroad. And I feel really sorry for those who will join the Russian army, still be living old Soviet propaganda, but their career won't be long, I promise you. And, uh, and we'll see what happens next as more and more Russian soldiers are captured on the Russian side. Hopefully we will be able to exchange them for more of uh, the Ukrainian soldiers. Subscribe to see Russia defeated and Karma working on the Kremlin. Literally, we observe that Su-25 was downed by Ukrainian soldiers and then their helicopter Mi-8 uh, fell by itself in Kamchatka. So we can say, and that there was a fire in Moscow before the visit of Ukrainian drones this night. And this night they set on fire an oil refinery, one of my favorite targets in Moscow. So anyway, one of the most important conclusions that we can have is that now, finally, Ukraine answers the way we should answer to a bully. And war is now in many, many Russian regions. Uh, of course, we act according to the international rules of war and we target military objects. Russians do the contrary. But still, now they feel their own medicine, the taste of their own medicine. And this will definitely lead to problems in their infrastructure, in their economy. It is already falling in their attitude to Putin because his uh, support is falling. And that is in a country with fake um, surveys, with fake statistics, even with these fake numbers, it is clearly visible that his popularity is falling. All because the majority of Russians who have chosen this serf identity uh, chose it because they were guaranteed stability, like nothing is happening in Russia. And now lots of things are happening in Russia. 16 regions with fires and explosions on military objects. Ukrainian drones sending messages to the population of Russia. No, not everything goes according to the plan. Just look and see. If you trust your television, stop. Trust your environment. Please subscribe to see more of the updates from Ukraine on the way to our victory. Join me on social media. I'm on Threads, X, Discord and Instagram. Check our merch shop for more good products that work well as reminders and conversation starters about Ukraine. All the links that you need are in the description of this video. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and sponsors of the channel and helping me film and write more. Actually, I've missed writing a lot. I'm still on my business trip and I will be back home by the next weekend. And that's the time for our next live. I believe please always leave your questions in the comments below. I read all of them and be careful of scammers. They can appear from time to time on the channel. I never invite you to chat on Telegram, WhatsApp. And of course, there are no lotteries, no thank cards. Please be careful. 
This world is a dangerous place. I know it is a Ukrainian, but community means a lot. And ours is so precious. Slava Ukraini!